Okay, that's out hold, right? Okay. Okay. Loiter, okay. That is a pretty solid loiter. Okay, see how long you can hold it in a hover now. Perfect. Okay, this is what I want to see. Leave it, don't touch it in the wind. Let's, yeah, let's see what happens when this breeze comes though. That's what I wanted to see. See how it's correcting for the breeze? So this is loiter. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. You should be able to. Here, hold it steady so I can get a nice tight shot and zoomed in. No, leave it right there. I want a nice tight shot against the sky because you can't really see the drone against the trees. Oh, true. Loiter's the, the safest one. I think I should take off and loiter and set loiter where stabilizes. Yeah, there, Reed, there is a do-it-yourself drones about taking off and loiter. That, I did, yeah. You, read, saw, you saw that? Saw Read it again. Yeah, There's some little hiccup taking off and loiter. Yeah, but it's way, 
this is so much more steady. Well, it should be, because now you're using everything on the drone. You're using the GPS, the compass, the and all the accelerometers and, um, and gyros. I want to come down to a safe and secure landing and stabilize those nuts. But like this, especially with the spring on the throttle stick, yep. it's like butter. I mean, I can get that within inches. There's a gust of wind hitting the left. Yeah, that's what this stuff I want to record. I'm not recording this for pretty pictures. I'm recording this so we can analyze it later. It's good. No, it's holding perfectly. It's holding exact. It's doing exactly what it should do, and I'm surprised that we're getting this level of accuracy from the GPS. I mean, I think we got 11 satellites, right? Don't check it now. Fly the drone. I'm not even flying it. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve satellites. <laughs> it's pretty precision. I mean. No, that's great. That's what it's supposed to do. Definitely more active than DJI. DJI is like two meters. This yeah. Is like, this is like one and a half feet. Well, there is a test a guy does with between DJI and APM, and he, and he and he concludes the same thing. Once it's tuned. You know, we might not even need to do auto-tune. I mean, we could try it, but we might not need it. I mean, it's flying so stable. You know what this would be a good time to test? Yaw. This is a good gust. I know, it's doing a great job too. Okay, you know what you might want to try? Just go up and try your rudder. I have no idea what my battery voltage is, though. We'll hear a beep. Just give it a little rudder. Oh, we'll get it away from me first. So see if you can do a pirouette. What happens when you hit the rudder? Right, but I want to see if there's any, um, you know, any bad roll compensation when you spin it around. Just rudder. Just rudder. Just hold it at, at altitude, at the same spot. There you go, that's good. That's still pretty good. It's rolling a little bit. Yeah. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, here it is. Alright.
Because this that we can correct. All right, give it, it a look. Have a, it does have a little swing to it. Yep. Like, you can just see how it's sitting right now. Yep. See that little, that little swing? Yep. Here, leave it, hold it right there. Let me see if I can get a really, no, nope. battery. Battery, land. Disarm.